to further relate what we have covered to the exams, consider that exam questions can be posed at a number of levels of comprehension. Bloom categorised six possible levels in a taxonomy published in 1956. The PRINCE II exams are structured around four of Bloom's levels. The foundation exam includes questions that ask for definitions or demand repeating of facts such as which theme requires a continuing justification of the project. Hopefully mentally you just scored a point by thinking that's the business case. Questions in the foundation exam get no more advanced than basic understanding of the method's elements such as who assesses the project's justification or who is most likely to assemble the description of the project's justification, of which the best answer would be the project board for the first and the project manager for the second. The practitioner questions always require some degree of interpretation and often express that in terms of a scenario whose protagonists need to be mapped to the nine roles based on the qualities described for them. For example, the sales manager knows what is wanted and her staff can describe it in detail would suggest that the sales manager is senior user. Other scenario information may need to be attributed to the correct template document heading. For example, a fragment such as, in order that market share is increased by at least 15%, may be the project's desired outcome and the benefits tolerance level for inclusion in the project brief created by SU activity, prepare the outline business case. You may get a better idea by downloading the work files for the course's subsequent chapters and looking at the practitioner exam questions that are included there. Everything is based on the syllabus as explained in our next video.